Lots of handguns are circulating in the firearms market right now, many of which are great and worth every penny you have. But of course, their quality isn't equal. And by all means, some are more accurate right out of the box without any customization. In the grand scheme of things, the operator of the gun significantly impacts the performance of a gun. So, the more skilled and trained you are, the more precise your shots become. That's how the ball rolls anyway. Still, if you are using an inherently accurate pistol, your efficiency would drastically increase. What's up, everyone? This is your boy Ted from Line 45. In this episode, I'm giving you a walkthrough of some of the leading handguns in the market in terms of their out-of-the-box accuracy. Before we get underway, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I know it is a chore, but these simple clicks help my channel immensely. Now, let's return to the video. SIG SP2022 SIG Sauer guns are generally popular firearms, mainly because of their shootability and ergonomics. Of course, these guns are reliable and accurate as well. However, there's one criminally underrated SIG handgun that you should check out, and that's the SIG SP2022. Similar to the P226 and other of its predecessors, the SP2022 is a full-sized hammer-fired handgun and features a double-action, single-action mechanism. It's currently available in 9mm or 40 SNW, but one interesting fact is that it was originally built for the 40 SNW. Plus, even though it's a polymer-framed gun, the SP2022 is rugged. The SIG SP2022 features a standard capacity of 15 rounds of 9mm and includes a rear notch sight and a front blade sight using a three white dot setup. Even without red dots, the SP2022 is definitely accurate thanks to these sights. At the same time, the pistol has a nice weight on it. When fully loaded, it is over 2 pounds, which keeps its recoil and muzzle rise minimal, allowing for consistency in its accuracy. Surely enough, it can also handle different ammo brands and weights, such as 115 grain and 124 grain FMJs and 115 grain JHPs. Overall, this gun is a fantastic shooter, and you don't need to tinker with it to become accurate. Walther PDP Match Steel Frame It feels like Walther heard our prayers when they decided to make a steel version of the PDP pistol. Don't get me wrong. I love the PDP because of its inherent accuracy and reliability. It's an effective gun for a number of purposes. But deep inside, I know that a metal version of this gun would take its qualities to a whole new level of proficiency. For starters, this pistol has a longer frame than the QF steel frame of Walther. Even its beaver tail has a higher cut, which enables a more secure and comfortable grip. These simple details in its design enhance its overall accuracy. Since it already has a steel frame, more weight has been added. Needless to say, the steel variant of the PDP has less recoil than its polymer counterpart. The performance duty texture was also incorporated into the architecture of the gun. This texture is tacky and keeps your hands bolted to the grip even if they are wet. The front strap is also checkered, which should remove any possibility of the gun slipping away from your hands. But that's not where the good things end. For me, its dynamic performance trigger system made all the difference in its performance. This feature minimized the trigger weight, removed the excessive take-up, and shortened its reset. Or in short, the trigger itself is responsive and crisp, allowing for accurate shots even under stress. Fresh from the box, the Walther PDP Match Steel Frame is already geared for the USPSA Limited Optics Division and can also be used in carry optics and production divisions. These configurations will tell you that the gun is meant to be deadly accurate, super reliable, and easy to shoot. For its price of around $1,800 or less, I think it's a good purchase. I am expecting that this 2024, the match steel frame will even become a bigger hit. CZ Shadow 2 This list is criminal if I'm not going to include the CZ Shadow 2. This is CZ's flagship competition pistol. It can't be considered a race gun but this one has the qualities of an extremely accurate shooter. Essentially, the Shadow 2 has the same operating system, magazines, and action as the SP-01 Shadow. But that is where their similarities end. This is a full-size, steel-framed pistol chambered in 9mm and features a 4.9-inch barrel. The trigger is a refined double-action, single-action trigger, which works really fine due to its smoothness and responsive operation. The pistol also boasts impressive ergonomics. 
it has a slim grip as compared to other double stack pistols, which guarantees you can grip the gun comfortably. At the same time, the undercut trigger guard optimizes the way you hold and shoot the gun, essentially helping you to attain consistency and accuracy down the range. It isn't prone to slippages either, as the entire grip is properly texturized. Because the gun weighs roughly 47 ounces, which of course makes it a heavy gun. But since it is a heavy gun, its recoil is minimal. Again, that means that the gun shoots accurately. Furthermore, its inside the frame slide setup provides it with an extremely low bore axis that mitigates any muzzle flip. At 25 yards, the Shadow 2 can maintain sub 2 inch groupings with its iron sights, and that alone speaks for its laser precise performance. Dan Wesson DWX The accuracy of the DWX is one of its best selling points. This full size pistol has a length of 8.5 inches and a barrel length of 4.95 inches. With its size, it's generous with its sight picture, allowing shooters to pinpoint and return to their targets in a jiffy. What makes this gun special is that it incorporates familiar elements from the likes of CZ-75, CZ-P10, and even the 1911. Its grip, for example, is definitely inspired by CZ, while the steel frame is proportioned, which is reminiscent of the original design of 1911 pistols. It is a striker-fired gun, but don't underestimate its trigger. It's as satisfying as the triggers equipped in hammer-fired pistols. It's very crisp, smooth, and resets quickly. Adding to that, it's just a flat shooting pistol. It is properly weighted, and the entire thing is very balanced. You'll not have difficulties handling this pistol, which in turn should give you tight groupings even if you aren't trying hard. Dan Wesson DWX has a standard capacity of 19 plus 1 rounds and features a green fiber optic front sight and an adjustable serrated rear sight. Keep in mind, however, that it's only available in single action, which gives the gun a pull weight of 3 pounds minimum. Also, this is a pricey gun. It costs 2 grands, and I know not a lot will tap on that. Still, if you have the bucks, the Dan Wesson DWX can become the perfect handgun for you. Staccato P. Similar to the Dan Wesson DWX, the Staccato P isn't for everyone. At least that's what its price will tell you. It's also within the $2,000 price range, which is, yeah, not everyone is willing to burn for a gun. But let's just skip that part because it's not what we are after here. I placed the Staccato P here because it's arguably the most accurate hammer-fired handgun pound by pound in the market right now. This semi-auto, full-sized pistol has a capacity of 20 plus 1 rounds, and for those who don't know yet, the Staccato P is a modernized version of the 1911 pistol, featuring upgrades such as a double-stack construction. One distinct feature of the gun is its ability to point naturally. You don't need to be fully conscious of how you aim the gun. Right from the get-go, it's just designed to point at whatever target you want to hit. There's little recoil you can feel on each shoot, which in turn lets you hammer your targets without a miss. It's notorious for its ability to create tight groups at 25 yards, and it can even maintain such precision while you are rapid-firing the pistol. Everything about the Staccato P is almost perfect. Perhaps if there's one thing that I can complain about this gun, aside from its price, is its grip. While it's comfortable, I find it a bit too large. I prefer it to be a little thinner so that anyone can get a full, secure grip. Other than that, the Staccato P is stunning. It's an ideal pick for personal defense, duty, and even competitions. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more gun videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe.